All right, the next step, which is step number five, I believe, is spreading out the fertilizer. Uh, like I said, we got the plot uh, seed bed levels. We can get it. And now we need to put fertilizer and lime and the seeds. So like I said, look, the lime is going to be liquid lime. So we're going to do that after everything's on the ground. And uh, we'll make that the last step. But I got three bags of 10, 10, 10 in here. And uh, I got one bag of 0060. Uh, like I said, again, this food plot uh, uh, soil test said I needed, fertilizer-wise, I needed uh, 3400, like 88 pounds of that, and 100 pounds of the 0060. Uh, I only have one one of the 0060, which is 50 pounds, and uh, the the 3400, I don't have any, but that's why I'm going to put three bags of uh, 10, 10, 10 on there. Uh, hopefully that will equal like 30 pounds of uh, nitrogen that it needs and 30 pounds of the, uh, I guess that's, oh, watch out. The 30 pounds of the, uh, the potassium that it needs, oh, potash that it needs. Uh, so it look like I'm going to be probably 30 pounds light on the uh, potash, which hopefully is not a deal breaker. But uh, so we're going to go ahead and spread this out and uh, get to printing out the seeds. Alright guys, we're going to move to step six and that's putting out the seed. Uh, we're going to put some white tails to fusion on this food plot. Uh, the reason I chose fusion because it has clover in it and has some chicory in it. So I want to make sure I had some kind of blend just in case uh, one of them didn't grow. So uh, I know the clover will grow almost anywhere. It might not grow super tall, but it, it will grow. And if the chicory take off, that's another plus. So that's the reason I chose the fusion. Uh, we're going to put in my little uh, hand spreader here just because these seeds are real small. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the seed out. And like I said, we're not going to drag it after we put it out because of how loose this soil is. Uh, if it was, you know, some kind of clay or some heavy dirt, we would go ahead and drag it again after we put the seed in. But... We're not going to do that step this time. So, uh, like I said, I'm just going to pull these seeds in and, and go spread them out.
Alright guys, we we got the seed out. It took more seed than I thought. Uh, but I'm glad I bought the big bag uh, of the fusion. Uh, so we should have a good amount of seed on the ground. So if it, if it grow, it should grow nice and full. But now we're going to move on to the uh, next and final step. That is, we're going to put this liquid lime out. Uh, like I said, this is plot starter by Deer Grow and like I said it claims that uh, this two and a half gallon uh, jug here would is equal to a thousand pounds of lime. Like I said we need like three thousand thirty seven hundred pounds of lime on this field but we're not going to reach that mark uh, but we want to try to get some lime in that's going to work right now and this is what this uh, product claims to do. So we're going to go ahead and and uh, get this mixed up but first thing we got to do we got to find some water and uh, I got a plan for that it involves this transfer pump this piece of water hose and a stick so come on let me show you what my plan is hopefully it works. Alright guys this is my water source right here this is a little creek that just down the road here from my food plot so that way I don't have to go all the way back to the camp to get water but um, my little transfer pump here is not the very it doesn't have a good volume on it so I thought it would pump a lot better than this matter of fact it's not even pushing nothing now Yeah, it's not even pushing nothing now, and it's getting stopped up with the sediment on the bottom. So we're going to plan B. And the plan B is this five gallon bucket. I was smart enough to bring the five gallon bucket. So we're going to dip in, dip some water, put it in my tank. Then I'll show you how the, they want you to mix this uh, plot starter. Okay, what I did was I got about two two gallons of water in this five gallon bucket, and uh, I shook this plot start up pretty good. But you wanna you wanna pour that plot start in there. And just mix it up with that water that you had in there. Just in case any uh, anything settled to the bottom of the uh, plot starter uh, bottle. We just want to get that mixed up pretty good. I don't feel any particles or see any sludge or anything at the bottom. So I think it's a good little liquid. So we're just going to get that. And hopefully I can pull that in my uh, deal there without spilling it everywhere. Let's see. And make sure you have some water in your sprayer just for when that stuff goes in there it doesn't settle to the bottom whatever's in it. So I still got a half a jug there. Get some more water. And the good thing about this product, like I said, you don't have to measure the water. 
all you have to do is put enough water in there probably uh, this two and a half gallons probably about 10 gallons to keep it stirred up and it won't settle and spread on your plot you can put 25 gallons in there and, and this one jug and spread on your plot it equals the same amount so uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put both jugs in that one sprayer just try to cut my time down in half I don't know if you can do that do it that way but I'm gonna do it that way I don't I don't see any problem with that from what you know I thought it was some some kind of slurry at the bottom but it's not so I'm gonna get this filled back up and like I said we got to do this one more time for the other food plot but that's not part of this video so I'll meet you back at the food plot Well, there you go we finally finished we got that liquid lime put out uh, I don't know about that liquid lime it's one of the things you can't see it so you don't know how good it's put out you know so uh, we have to wait and see what the results say but uh, and the only other drawback I see with that is like I said if you out and you need your four-wheeler you don't need to have 25 gallons of water riding around on it until you use the uh, spray so you're gonna need a water source that's gonna be the drawback of that if you deep in the woods you don't have a stream like I did to go get the water you have to travel all the way back to the camp or bring water with you and and five gallon totes and all that kind of stuff that's the only thing I see this that's, that's uh, kind of uh, shaky I guess you want to call it but uh, other than that like I said we got everything done we got the seeds put out like I said I'm not gonna drag them because the soil is real loose so uh, when it rains that'll beat them down in the ground and they should be good to go uh, other than that uh, like I said on the soil test I'm gonna do a video just just about soil test on my three food plots that I got soil test on uh, but hopefully what we did with the 10 10 10 and the uh, 0 0 60 
uh, to get close to what Whitetail Institute wanted us to do with the uh, uh, fertilizer numbers. So I think we're good and close with that. So I don't think that'd be a problem. Uh, other than that, the lime, I put two, two and a half gallon uh, jugs on that, and they said it equals a thousand uh, pounds of lime each. So we should be on that number too, because like I said on that soil test, it said I needed 3,700 pounds for acre lot, uh, food plot. Like I said, this is probably half an acre, so you take half of that. Uh, and like I said, we're talking 15, 15 plus 3, like I said, about 800, 1,800, 1,900 pounds, which I just put 2,000 on from that liquid. So hopefully we met that goal with that. And other than that, guys, I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get out of here. It's been a long two days uh, food plotting. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to have a couple of videos coming out with different, uh, like my food plot. And uh, like this one to be a separate one. And, uh, and we're going to do that uh, soil test video. So, guys, make sure you check out the videos. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Uh, I like that breeze because it's been real hot. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to be out of here. Thanks for watching.